Well, the Taken 3 trailer just dropped a couple hours ago. If you haven't seen it yet, click on the link here in the corner, watch the trailer, and then come back and watch the rest of this. But I've got to tell you, loved the first Taken movie, really disappointed by the second movie, as most of us were. And after the second one, I had pretty much no interest in seeing a third one. But this trailer completely turned me around, and not just because they're obviously shaking up the formula and doing something different, but because there's a mystery villain. I kid you not. You watch the trailer, it's like an Arkham Knight situation, but it's a Taken Knight. You see, Liam's ex-wife has been murdered, he's been framed for the murder, and the trailer is focusing totally on how he's a fugitive and running from the law, but it doesn't say anything about who it was that framed him for his ex-wife's murder. So I think that's going to be the big mystery, that's going to be the big twist at the end. Who is it? Who is it that's doing this thing? Who is it that's setting him up and attacking him in his own country? I don't think it's the Albanians, because most of them are pretty much dead. Boris the Blade got killed. And besides, those guys are too stupid. Like, if they wanted to get Liam Neeson, they'd just send in 20 guys and machine gun the house, and he'd just wipe them all out. But obviously, whoever this villain is, is much more stealthy, much more clever, they're behind the scenes. See, they've set it up by framing him for his ex-wife's murder. They've set it up so now he can't go to the police for help. He can't go to anyone for help. So they're much, much cleverer, this villain. So who is it? Who's the villain? Has to be someone from the past movies, right? Out of the previous guys that he's crossed but could come back, I think it's actually the, the family. If you remember the Middle Eastern guy who bought his daughter at the end of the first one, who got shot in the head? I think it's his family are coming back for revenge and leading the charge is that bodyguard guy. You remember that dude who was like the boss fight and he had those knives and he was like the only one who could actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Liam Neeson and actually put up a fight. And he didn't die. He got knocked out at the end of that, but he didn't die. He's still alive. So I think that family has come back and has set this whole thing up, and that dude is the main bad guy. He's coming after Liam Neeson. It's it's the Taken Knight instead of the Arkham Knight. It's the Taken Knight. That's why I think it is. Yeah, because the trailer's awesome, right? All this action, but it's focusing totally on the police trying to track him down as a fugitive. It doesn't have anything about who it is behind the scenes that set him up for that murder and who's doing this. So put in the comments, who do you think it is? Who is the Taken Knight? Who's the one that's come back to get Liam Neeson, Brian Mills, his character? Just put it in the comments. Until next time, okay. Catch you later.